hey everyone welcome back to the channel this is Rahul today we are doing another recording problem that is max sum of pair with equal sum of digits so it's one of the problem that's simple to understand but at the same time we need a smart approach you know to solve that efficiently so let's dive in here we have our problem we have one array of positive integers from this we we can we have to find the maximum sum of two numbers where sum of their digit is equal uh, by this example we can just check so here in this one the digit sum is 9 means 1 plus 8 here 4 plus 3 7 3 plus 6 9 1 plus 3 4 7 so here this one and 36 are equal and 43 and 7 are equal so once they are equal we have to add them together so 18 plus 36 54 43 plus 7 50 so from these two we have to get the maximum value that's why we are getting 54 so that's the way we have to do so here's the plan here we will keep track of the maximum number of each possible sum of digits once we find means if another number with the same sum appears we will calculate the sum of the pair and we have to track the maximum sum all right let's jump into the code so here is our method maximum sum with uh, one input array nums first of all we have to create one array in order to store the maximum number of number for each sum of digits so i will name it as max new int of so here we have to give the size so i will give it 82 so you might be have some doubt why 82 so each number number sum of digits can't be exceed 81 okay because the maximum uh, largest possible sum from a number like sorry okay is equals like and plus nine plus nine which is equal to 54 okay so however since 81 is the maximum sum we can allocate an array of size 82 in order to handle all indices from 0 to 81 okay so that's why i give 82 here now i need another variable that will return if no valid pair is found so i will name it as int ants minus one it is for it is a default value now i need to iterate over the array so i will use the for each loop x in nums so here we have to calculate the sum of digits for the current number means i already mentioned in this one first we have to check for 18 so we have to calculate the sum of digit of that number so i will name it as sum zero then i need one temporary variable which will be same as our current digit current value uh, current element in that now i need a while loop while the temporary variable not equal to zero 
till that I have to uh, do this operation I have to calculate add the last digit to sum temp mode 10 now I need to remove the last digit from the temporary variable so temp backslash done okay once we're done come out of the loop now we have to check if we have already seen a number with the same with the same sum of digits so if max of sum not equal to zero then we have to calculate the possible maximum sum with the current number so we have to update answer mat dot max max sum or x so once we have done this we have to come out of the loop then we have to update the maximum number for this sum of digit sorry it's not here and so or so here we have to update the maximum number for the sum of digits so maxim is equal to we have to get the maximum in the max maxim uh, or x So we have to return the answer at last. Let's run it. So it's working. So we also need to account from edge cases, right? So here array with all single digit number means since each numbers sum of digit is the number itself there will be no valid pair is possible then second one is array with only one element if no pair is possible so the output should be minus one third duplicates in the array so this algorithm will handle them correctly since it only keeps track of the max number for each sum. when it comes to complexity for time complexity at first we have to calculate the sum of digits for each number it will take big of log n time where n is the number of digits in the number then secondly since we process each element in the array once so the overall complexity will be big of n log m where n is the length of the array and m is the largest number in the array when it comes to space complexity since we use one array of size 82 which is a constant so the so, uh, space complexity will be big of one let's submit it it beats almost 100 percent yeah it's a vision one why this one is a vision because this approach is efficient means it will avoid the need to check every possible pair instead we calculate the sum of digit once and store the results in constant time lookups so compared to brute force approach means it will take big of n square this approach is much faster for larger arrays 
so that's it for today's problem we broke down the problem covered the approach coder step by step and analyzed the performance if you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in next video till that happy coding